It's one of my favorite movies. It's one of my favorite movies now, too. I woke up this morning mm -hmm. to uh, Hooked on a Feeling. Uh -huh. It's on my, <laughs> it's my alarm. Your alarm clock? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's cool. So, <laughs> so this John Borg and, and uh, Guardians, and uh, do you think release is going to be... Uh, I think we're going to probably be shipping games sometime in early November. Oh, really? That's mm -hmm. soon. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I know you're really excited about it because it's your favorite movie. I am. When I started working on this game, the, the first thing that I wanted to do was something with Groot because Groot is just my favorite character in the Groot game. He's phenomenal. totally awesome. Um, I love Rocket just as much, and the whole entire cast in the movie is just great. But, uh, you know, I just I, I knew that Groot was going to be the centerpiece. Okay. And I uh, decided to make a group that eats balls, and after you put four balls inside of him, he okay. he goes through his angry, I am Groot, and the balls all come flying out the center, and they look like they're going to go straight down the middle, and there are, where you see these little hot spots in the artwork, Right. on the LE there's a magnet in each position, on the Pro there's a magnet in this position, so as the balls come out, yeah, the first just, and I second one, that. They, they curve over to the left. It'll make the balls curve. So on the LE, I'll be able to curve the balls right and left. And you can control... And I control that with the electromagnet. But, I mean, you can decide by programming or whatever. Which, what, yeah, which, which way, way it's going to go. So the first time you see it, you'll see it go one way, and then the next time it happens, it'll go the other way. Oh, so we'll change it. And up. if a ball ever does drain, because they come out of there very fast, um, we may even tone that down a little bit. They come out like a, It comes out like a rocket right now. Um, you know, if you do get a drain or something like that, you know, your ball saves lit and you're going to get that ball back. Okay. Um, so, okay, so, you, so Groot's yeah, mouth so opens? Groot's yes. mouth opens and closes. Um, on the LE, Rocket has recoil as he's shooting a gun. There's a, oh. actually a coil attached to him. On the Pro here, <clears throat> it's just attached to the play field with a small bracket. Oh, cool. And then the orb will be closed when the game starts in the LE. And as you go and trip this drop target and virtually lock balls in the orb, the orb will then open and show you the purple lighting in the back. Um, you tell and then me it will also start a multi-ball. So this uh, this assembly here, I originally had a three-line <coughs> or an inline three-bank here in this in the oh, place of this. Oh, okay. And I decided to go with a single bank. I talked to, with Lonnie about it. We decided to go with a single bank instead. Um, single bank drops. Uh, a little bit easier than the, the three bank inline from this distance. This is really close to the flipper. So when I put a ball up in here, I can trap the ball. The ball sits behind the drop target, and then I trip the target to let the ball out as a virtual lock. The ball bounces off this post, goes over this hot spot, and the magnet grabs the ball, and then it stops it, and then it throws it. So you have to worry about things like that in design, um, that things aren't too close. Mm -hmm. uh, or too far mm -hmm. uh, to be able to work properly. Yes, sure, absolutely. Well, this way, instead of knocking down three targets and then hitting the target to start the multi-ball, I can actually trap the ball, start the you know start the multi-ball there before the ball even comes out. You get to see a really cool display effect. So and it's better. It's better. It's an improvement. Yes. Well, that's always better. Sometimes a single bank is better than a three bank. Sometimes. Sometimes less is more. Sometimes less is more. Or less is better. <laughs> Funny. So in this case, a single drop target point. bank that leads into the orb. We knock it down, knock it down again. Light starts to flash, shoot inside, traps the ball. Mm. Now when the ball comes out, it's going to bounce off this post and it's going to go over one of the magnets. And then Whoa. the magnet catches the ball and throws it. Okay. So we do that three times. So we're virtual, virtually locking balls. and then this one will start the multi-ball. Now that ball's gonna stay in there. It's gonna shoot another ball into play. Oh. I have to knock that one out. We're gonna, we're gonna watch Groot work here. You shoot through Groot in the, in the jaw, and then he opens up to accept a ball. And then he closes back up. Next ball comes into play. Same thing. got the third ball. Now we can lock the third ball. We can start multi-ball. Um, second time around, it'll automatically be four. It'll make you work a little harder. So now when the balls come out of Groot, he says, I am Groot. And the balls come out of the play field. And then the magnet that's positioned right here makes the first and second ball curve usually to the left. Hmm. 
mixes up the action a little bit. You think they're coming right down the middle right there. Right. But, uh, so all the while, I still have jackpot shot available, so I'm actually playing single ball play right now. And you see how the lights are changing from purple back to yellow? Right. I'm oh. in sanctuary mode right now, but I'm also in orb multi-ball, so that's why it's going to be purple and yellow. So I can, and then the ball came out all by it's itself. Cool. It's as simple as it is, it's cool that it can do that, the mm -hmm. two different colors, mm -hmm. depending on what... So you know what rules are what's going. needed, I mean, yeah. 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 You know, so if there's three things going on at one time, you'll see three, three different colors. Huh. That's very cool. And at the beginning of play, you get to pick your mode with your favorite character. Now as the characters are shown on screen, when Drax is on screen, Drax has shot lights for big points. Oh. So when you see them on screen, you can watch the lights and you can see which ones are flashing to know which ones are big points. But when a character's on screen, he's worth more points. <laughs> and this is my baby Groot shooter. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Isn't he cute? He is very cute. At one point, oh, I was going to... I was gonna just layer the top of the ramps with roofs, okay. coming all the way down to the to the exits of the ramps, <clears throat> and then I was gonna have his hand at the end, small, kind of like this. Oh, okay. And we started looking at it, and you know, to do the the two shapes that big on both sides of the playfield because it's a pretty long That's a long lot. length of ramp, yeah. and decided to just shorten them up a little bit, make them larger. And just have him coming out into the middle of the playfield. So it looks like Groot is in the back of the playfield exactly. and he's sticking his head up, and then the arms are coming out of the playfield. Oh, it does look, yeah, yeah. And then on this one, you can see the difference in the, uh, oh. the inserts. Turn the lights on. Um, yeah, Star Lord uh, image in the style guide had a very bright fluorescent orange uh, eyepiece when he would turn his mask on. Right. And I tried to go with, uh, with a non faceted insert. Um, but I end up with two hot spots. I tried putting a filter underneath them, but you can still kind of see the depth of the route in oh, the right. play field. You can see the depth. And in the movie, you really couldn't see that, so I went with faceted instead. They look perfect. So that looks a little more like Star-Lord than, yeah, than the transparent yeah, inserts. So during play, after you put your, get you collect your third virtual lock in the orb, the orb will actually separate and open. Like such, oh, okay. and, then, yeah. and then you'll see the, pur the, light the purple light on yeah. behind it will light up, and that's to represent the Infinity Stone. Right. That's mm -hmm. very cool. Yeah. <laughs> so I started out. Uh, I purchased this orb toy, and uh, it's just a roto molded piece. The two halves snap together. And that's um, something the, the toy from the toy store. Yep, it's something you can buy at the toy store. So, uh, so I took one of these. And I needed to put some pins coming out of the back of it, and I needed a flat surface for it to ride up against a bracket, okay. open and close. So I bought another one, and then I broke out my Bondo, <laughs> and I added a flat to it, and I put my pins in my little, my little uh, retainer block, and uh, this is how I made the first one. And uh, I think I have a video of this first one in okay. operation after I put all the sheet metal parts together and made all the stuff. And I have it working, so this thing rides on the bracket, it slides on these little blocks, and then the pin, there's, a, there's an arm that comes up that goes over these pins that, it's like a scissors, and it opens and closes the orb. Okay, okay. So that's how I made the first one, and then we went and did a, painted one gray, and uh, we photographed it, and then the guys did a, did an SLA mold for me. SLA is? Uh, stereolithography, the 3D printed oh. orb. And the texture is a little different than the real McCoy, but not bad. So we started out with this as prototypes. And then when we went to sculpting, I was actually going to put a, I was actually going to suspend a stone in the middle of this. Mm. And when the model maker made this, he textured the inside. But the inside of the orb actually is a, uh, is a flat surface. It's got some. It's got some color in it. Oh, but not really textured. Yeah, and it's not textured like the outside of the orb. So, uh, so I had the model maker just take this out and give me a flat surface, and I put a decal with a, like a foil type of decal. So when the light goes on it, it, right. okay. it reflects pretty right. nicely. 
So we went from that to this, and then the final product, and these are finished prototypes from the from the roto mold, and that's my production part. Oh, okay. Well, that's uh, mm -hmm. cool. It's yeah. so, so you don't just like figure the part out and they just make it. Yep. It's not quite that yeah, easy. I don't just go. I need some orbs. Yeah. Right. So. And of course, you do that with every. Every every part, yes, yeah. absolutely. Well, thank you, John. So that's how we do that. That's how we do. That's the magic. Mm -hmm. Well, cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Very nice. You're very welcome. I mean